In this Cygnus Technologies Spike Recovery Training video, you will see our recommended plate setup. This four sample and control setup allows for spiked and unspiked samples at four different dilutions. As you can see here, samples one through four have already been diluted to the minimum required dilution. Once you've completed this, add 190 microliters of each sample to its respective well in row A and row E. The last two columns are diluent control in the top half of the plate. And a spike control in the bottom half of the plate. For this assay, spiking solution has already been prepared to 1 microgram per milliliter. This has been done so that when 10 microliters are spiked into 190 microliters, the total spike concentration is 50 nanograms per milliliter. These numbers work best for an ELISA that goes to 100 nanograms per milliliter. For a mix and go protein A assay, the target numbers would be 5 nanograms per milliliter. First, add diluent to all wells, except rows A and E. Next, add 10 microliters of assay diluent to all samples in row A. Then, make two fold dilutions in all wells in rows A through D. When finished, add 10 microliters of the spike solution to all samples in row E. Then, make two-fold dilutions in rows E through H. Now, Add 100 microliters of each assay standard to all wells in columns 1 and 2. Next, add 100 microliters of conjugate to the assay plate. Then, stamp 50 microliters from the sample preparation plate into the assay plate. For a mix and go protein A assay, add 50 microliters of denaturing buffer. and mix each row 15 times. When finished, wait five minutes. And then, transfer 25 microliters to the assay plate. For the final steps, Seal the assay plate, and then shake it at 500 RPMs for the recommended period of time indicated on the assay's protocol. With all Cygnus products and methods, our technical support team is available to assist you in the successful qualification of our products for your analytical needs. To connect with our experts, visit us online 
at CygnusTechnologies.com. Complete our technical support form and we'll promptly respond to your inquiry.